नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवेकनिंग विद ब्रह्मा कुमारीज वेलकम सिस्टर ओम शांति सिस्टर शिवानी वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन दिस टॉपिक सोल कनेक्शन आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट वन पॉइंट ऑन गिल्ट आई हर्ट सो मेनी ऑफ फ्रेंड्स ऑफ माइन यू नो दे फील वेरी वेरी गिल्टी आई विश I had not said this to my mother and she is no more. I wish I had given her a better True. uh place to live. I had enough money and she died without much comfort. I wish I had done this for my brother. I wish I had done this for my wife who died earlier. This kind of pain is very 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 painful and quite common yeah they don't do things when they are alive and then after one of them dies they feel guilty guilt is a very very damaging emotion even though people say that you have to feel guilty to realize mm. unless you are guilty about what you have done you won't improve not only if you have to feel guilty sister to realize but some sometimes we make the other person so feel guilty. that i am making you feel guilty so that you realize realize yeah even and it starts right from parents doing it to children hmm. you know the way of punishing a subtle way of stop talking to them that so that they guilty. should feel guilty yeah that they feel guilty yeah. nice because Great. we thought guilt will create transformation like we saw anger is not healthy any kind of anger right from irritation to loud aggression anger is not healthy to the one whom it's inflicted on even if they've made a mistake even if your child has made a mistake even if anyone in your office has made a mistake if you are angry with them what's the energy you're sending out negative and if you send out negative energy to them you disempower them if you disempower them they don't have the power to change what they want to change now guilt is angry with yourself like mm. you said i yeah. should have done this to my parents so no one else is now saying anything okay in fact maybe the people around us are saying it's okay you did your best you know people can be very empowering at that time and now it's okay you can't do anything about it but my own guilt i'm not able to come out of it if i've done something to someone and i've later on realized i've made a mistake i can't do something sometimes a spouse cheats on the other mm. or children have cheated mm. you know they haven't told their parents the truth or whatever so many things for which they are guilty and then they can live in that guilt for years a very, very long time now what is guilt it's like our conscience always tells us right wrong always at every step but there are times when we do not listen to that right even though it's telling us this is right we don't listen to it because we're looking at something else outside let's say you said about this person who's guilty that i didn't take care of my mother mm. you know while she was there his conscience must have told him mm. do this do this and and he, he did didn't, thinking that no i have to do this i have only enough money to look after my wife and children or i'll do that later on whatever didn't listen to that voice so the conscience was always there to tell me what's right or wrong and at that time even though i knew the right i chose the wrong, wrong. right from childhood we have got labels which our parents put on us right wrong, wrong. and right is good wrong is bad wrong is bad now this label is always there with us and mm. when we understand that we've done something wrong then the next label that i put on to myself is guilt i'm a bad person okay that's also guilt i'm a bad person you know one is i've done wrong hmm that's different i've so done this wrong so bad people do bad people because that is what my parents taught, taught me. me so then i go into this self abuse i'm a bad person mm. i've done wrong is not too big a thing to come out of okay i've done mm. this wrong 
I'll try and correct it or I'll work on it. Mm. But I'm a bad person. It's terrible. My self-image. Self-esteem goes so That's low. Terrible. Now Finishes. once it goes down, then it's very difficult to change my level of thinking mm. and start going and doing something right. Yeah, but when you get caught in this bad person thing, you start doing things and say, yes, I am a bad person and I do only bad things. Because I don't have the power left. I will do only bad things. What, what else can you expect from a bad person? Yes. It's okay, I am bad. I hate myself. Absolutely. All the while and then you continue So drinking, it's a downslide. Drugs. It's a downslide now after that. Very sad. Because I've put the label mm. which my parents taught me that this is wrong and bad people do wrong, so you are bad. And now guilt is this. Me telling myself repeatedly, mm. I am bad. That's what a person who's in guilt does with himself. Now, if I go on inflicting this image or mm. this abuse onto myself, I am bad, I am bad. Will there be any transformation? Because normally that's what people say, if he's guilty, he'll realize and he will change. No transformation. One thing we have to remember very clearly when we are trying to change others or we are trying to change ourselves, energy is required. So you cannot make others feel guilty? Yes. Or feel guilty yourself, yourself. instead you've got to yes. heal that person or heal yourself. Absolutely. If I am guilty and I think I will change, I will never change. In fact, I'm going to go in pain. So yes, this is what I had done. You mm. know, even if I have made mistakes, this is the wrong that I have done. I'm not a bad person because now I understand that inherently, mm. who am I? Yes, now. Now I understand. I'm a soul, yes. And I'm what kind of soul? A, a pure, pure soul. being. A beautiful, complete, blissful soul. loving. Who did a wrong action? This soul did a wrong action. Because the soul was not aware that I'm a soul. So when I forgot who I was, that means I was an ego. Mm. I've done a wrong action. But mm. I'm not a bad person. I See, once I realize, yeah, powerful, powerful, compassionate, loving so. being. So I understand this is who I am. So that time I had forgotten who am I. Yeah. So I made a mistake. I made a mistake. But now because I remember who am I, hmm. I have the power to change and to correct. But now if I tell myself I'm a bad person, hmm. that is again not true. See, when I know that I'm a pure soul, it's soul consciousness, my actions will be right. But mm. if I tell myself I'm a bad person, which is not true... But so you still ego. continue doing wrong... No, but it's ego again, na? because ego is attachment to a wrong, wrong image belief, of yourself. Yeah. Wrong right of image is, you're a pure soul. Now you've given a wrong image to yourself, mm. I'm a bad person. Which means you've again moved from soul consciousness to body consciousness and in body consciousness actions will again be wrong. So bad person will keep on doing wrong, 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 wrong. And then again guilt. Again I do wrong. Wrong and bad. Wrong again and guilt. Bad, wrong and bad. And that's it. The battery getting discharged. So spirituality teaches us, yes, this is what I did. Mm. I was not aware at that time. Past is Past. past. Now I remember, now I am aware that this is who I am, a pure being and now I have the strength within the consciousness of who am I to do everything right. And with that strength, I can cure myself, I can heal myself and I can come back to my original self. Absolutely. You know, there's this one word which we use, we say guilty conscious. Hmm. There's no such thing as guilty conscience. The conscience can't be guilty. Conscious is pure. No, no. They must be saying that now you're conscious about the fact that you have done a wrong thing, so you're feeling guilty. Conscience cannot be negative. When I forget that I am this conscience, then I become negative. So the conscience is not guilty. The ego is guilty. Mm. So conscience, because I have to remember who am I. I am that conscience and that conscience is always right. Mm. Always pure 
and has the power to do what it thinks. Now, in this guilt sister, there are two things uh, I used to do. When I used to get angry, I had a fight within. See, like, that's what, the fight within, the I'll, anger I'll within. I'll something yeah. very interesting. I got angry on my driver once, I'm talking about 1980s. And for no reason, I felt very bad. So my guru within, my something within says, tell sorry to him. You're supposed to be on a uh, path to improve. So I was, that was the beginning of my spirituality and learning things. Not even spirituality, I wanted to be a better person, right. simple. So I said sorry to him. I said, I won't say sorry to him. He's just a driver. I'll give him hundred bucks. He says, no, you made a mistake. It's not his job. Han is a driver. He's also a human being. I didn't even know that soul thing then. You've got to say sorry. You know how I was discussing? Okay, okay. So Resh Obroy saying sorry to a driver is not possible. Okay, two hundred bucks. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Finally, my inner voice was stronger because my guru was very strong within. Then I said I agreed to say sorry. Then it was so difficult. I said, okay, mm, Mishra ji, you know, you know, I have high blood pressure and I'm a patient of uh, hypertension and I need medicine and I don't know when I get angry and I am sorry. After saying sorry, I ran away. You know what happened? He went out and in the society, all the drivers where they sit and talk, he was dancing. He says, my boss is the best. You know, he's a big man, such a great actor. This, this. He said, sorry to a small man like me. He said, you know, my Saab said sorry. And then not that, then he went and told my children, then he told my wife. Then I came to know from my wife and from the other drivers right. that he was so happy. Those 200 bucks wouldn't have done anything to him. Not at all. And how much of difference it made to me. So much of strength and happiness it gave, it gave to me and to him. Yeah, but what was done at that time? The conscience gave the answer. There were two people who were fighting inside. Hmm. This is the conscience and this is the ego. It's, it's the mind which gives two thoughts. When I operate through the consciousness of who I am, the being, I get the right answer. But the ego says, no, you're an actor. He's just a driver. How can I say sorry? The ego also has its case to present. So now, most of the time, if I'm not connecting to myself, if my life is generally in stress and anger and aggression, I will not have the power to use this suggestion. The conscience is giving. I would rather use what the ego is giving because my quality of thinking is more towards the negative and I will agree with what the ego has to say. But if I practice meditation, regularly. If I do take out moments of silence to listen to what the conscience has to say and I'm very grounded and I know what I want finally at the end of the day. Then when these two voices hmm. awaken, taking a decision is not difficult. You know where I am, uh, my mind is going now? The same thing, supposing somebody is very guilty that he did not take care of his mother or wife or brother, whoever has died, and while they were living, he did not give them the, for example, some money. Right. Or uh, anything, uh, any financial help, maybe. And now he's feeling guilty. Now he goes and makes a small trust and a hospital in the name of mother, in the name of wife, and now he's donating the world. It's the same thing, instead of saying sorry to the Mishra, my driver, while he's alive at the right moment, yeah. I was you know, try to evade by just giving that money. Right. So is it uh, something related, this kind of a thing or no? Uh, These are two different things. Regarding, as far as people who are there with us now, hmm. you know, it's easy to just go and talk and to finish off everything that was there. Everyone is open to it. Everyone is open to it. Let's not think too much when to say sorry, should we say sorry, should we not say sorry. Sorry just means provided it's said with the right understanding. 
Why we are no, saying my sorry? My case was that I was on the path of improve, self improvement. Right. So the sorry is being said not to please him. You know, a lot of times we could be saying sorry to just to please the other person, I just was, so that his mood is. No, I okay. was saying sorry to conquer my uh, to conquer my ego. Yes, and saying sorry because I realize that yeah. I've done a mistake. But then the sorry would also mean that I will not do it again. Yes. A lot many times sorry is a word of convenience. Say sorry and make the same mistake again. Sorry means I realize I will not do this again. So that would be one part. So one is saying sorry or talking it out with people where we have conflicts and we've broken down communication. But regarding people who are no longer there with us on this journey, then people can carry their guilt for a very long time. But let's understand, I am a soul, my mother, who's left the body, she's not here now, but the soul is still there mm. in another costume. Okay, while she was there, I was not able to give her much. Or maybe I had a big fight or was not, did not respect her. Whatever, whatever may be the reason. Yeah. Maybe I gave her a lot of negative pain. energy while she was there. Right? Now, I realize that I've given negative energy to that soul. Hmm. Now, the soul is not there physically in a costume where I can go and talk and finish it off. Hmm. But the soul is still there. Somewhere. Somewhere. And whatever I am thinking is still traveling mm. and reaching. Okay, so it's like you're sitting here and tomorrow you're not here, you're in another city. So while you were here, I constantly kept sending negative energy. Mm. And now that you have left and gone to another city, I'm feeling guilty that I shouldn't have given that negative energy. But once you are in another city, if I'm guilty, mm. and that means I'm still creating pain, then what is the energy that I'm sending you? Negative again? Still negative. So we should understand that someone leaving the body is not that it's over. Mm. If we are in guilt and we keep on creating so much pain and people can go into depression just thinking like this, they are still sending negative energy to that soul. And poor soul, while so living he was in pain and again and another soul So realization means end to negative thinking. That's a nice line to say. That is realization, realization means end to, to negative, negative thinking. thinking. Because if I am still creating negative thoughts in whatever way, whether it's guilt or anger with yourself or whatever, I'm still creating negative energy and sending to that soul. I know. And then I'm not sending only to that soul. What about all the souls who are around me? And to myself? To myself? What about the souls who are around me? Now today you have gone from here to Bombay but there's someone else sitting here and I'm guilty about what I did with you yesterday. Mm. So what is the energy I'm sending to this soul now? Again negative. So it's always negative will only keep on creating more negative. There's no such thing as realization. What does one do when you feel guilty then? I understand this is what I did. Sorry. Now I sit and in meditation I send lots of vibrations of love to that soul. I apologize. I could not apologize when they were in the body, mm. but I can still apologize. Vibrations will reach. While they are in another, another body. costume. It's only a question of sending energy. If it's done with the right thought, right intention. You know, sometimes when physically somebody is present and we say, I'm sorry, the other person says, I don't think you've realized. Mm. I don't forgive you because maybe I'm not sending the right energy. So it's not about whether Are the person... Are you sure? Or that person be. is like that? And the person has their own ego yet. So we have to be very clear. The person is not happy or not ready to take a sorry also. He's so hurt. That's be Yeah, that's because he's still hurt. But then if he's hurt, what do I have to send to heal? Not more pain. So if that's so... And if you say, okay, I said uh, 10 times sorry to you, Beyond this, I can't help you, get lost. But then yeah. that's anger, so that's again pain. It's never ending again. It's just that I genuinely realize that what I've done till yesterday was not right. From today, I change. This is sorry. And change means from today, a different quality of energy for you. You know, I've seen people who will say, I said sorry to them, 
mm. you know, the ones who are physically present. I said sorry to them. They didn't still, still didn't talk back properly. I said sorry 10 times. They're still not changing. This is how they are. I thought itself they will not understand me. Again, what energy we are sending them? Sorry means not a single wrong energy to you again. Sorry can also mean sending a positive uh, loving energy. That's right, because not a wrong energy. So then it's the right energy. So then we come back to your uh, again, which, where you say that if you see that person as another soul, so from one soul to another soul, we send uh, constant Constantly. positive energy. And even, even we can send sorries. Yes, we apologize. Even if someone is physically... Not you know, present. No, even if someone's physically present and you said they're not listening, huh. you know, if someone is not accepting my apology, well, the person is not accepting because of their ego. So I have to penetrate that ego and go to the soul. So sometimes, if it's not happening physically, then do it with the power of the mind. And which means sit in meditation, detach from your ego, soul conscious, emerge that soul and then send vibrations of love and apology. It will touch the soul. It will break their barrier. It will heal you and it will heal them. But don't expect that the minute I've realized they should get healed. Mm. You know, just because I realized today that I'm going to send the right energy. So if I'm sending the right energy, they should heal. It will not happen instantly. But the result will depend on mm. how stable I am. If I say sorry, they don't accept and I get hurt, no use. If I say sorry, they don't accept, I get bitter and angry, no use. Here, your ego also is uh, hurt when you say, Okay, I said sorry to him twice here. What more can I do? Exactly. Three times, five times? So it won't work. And I'm, I'm hurt again. So it won't work. Because if I have made a mistake and someone has created hurt, I have to send so much love. I like this line. Someone has created hurt. You won't say that someone is hurt. Yeah. Because that party himself yes. is creating hurt from... Yes, for they have. They have created the hurt. Yeah, okay. But I made the mistake. I made the mistake. They created the hurt. Now I have to send vibrations which will help them to heal themselves. That's also very important. I made a mistake. You created the hurt. But I don't have the power to heal you. I can just send you a lot of... You are sending medicines yeah. here so that you are healed. You will heal yourself. Sometimes I feel I've sent so much. Hmm. They're still not doing anything about it. That's because I can't change them. Mm. I can only keep my unconditional sending. sending and then they will use that today or tomorrow or next year to heal themselves. But that will only happen if the quality of what I am sending is unadulterated. Very interesting. It can't be, yes I am sending a lot of love, I'm sending a lot of love and then next after an hour, but they shouldn't have done this. They should understand that I have changed. They, then again, adulteration. What more can I do? Yeah, so then adulteration. Then it won't work. So it has to be constant, single quality thought. Till that person is healed. Till first I am healed. See, first most important is for me to get healed. And me healed means not a single wrong thought. Then I am healed. Then there is no guilt. And when there's no guilt, there's unconditional sending, that soul will heal themselves. It will happen. But we are not sending with the expectation that you should heal fast. Mm, and thank me. Yeah. <laughs> and my <laughs> happiness is not dependent on your healing. I'm stable and sending. So there's no, you cannot afford to be guilty for even one day, for even one hour. The amount of time your guilt, you're only wasting time and depleting power. So, understood the mistake, realized, changed the thought, in action. Let's be in action with a small, short meditation. Sure. Let's sit back and bring on the screen of our mind one relationship where I have cheated, made a mistake, 
and they have created hurt. Let me bring that soul on the screen of my mind. I understand today that my thoughts, words and actions were the stimulus which caused them to create pain. I, a pure, loveful being, Love is my original property. Love is the energy which heals. Love is the energy which empowers. I, the soul, sending them this constant vibration of love, and purity, healing them. Let me see my vibrations changing the quality of the energy between the two of us. Blockages removed. Relationships healed. I understand, realize and transform. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.